What's going on guys? Dan the trading man here. Gonna go over uh, some trades I took today. We had one futures trade in crude oil. That was $800 total between my account and top step. And then I had a couple Nadex trades, one in oil, one in gold. Um, we did 141% in gold and only 36% in oil. I actually cut that short and took my profits while I had them. So we'll dive into those as well. Now, crude oil um, is what I po I posted that on Twitter, and I talked about, um, or just showed the, the image of this retracement and what I did. Let's go ahead and dive into that and talk about what made me want to take this trade. So comparing the two, I like to do a lot of analysis where I look at day trading chart, um, longer term chart, whether it's just 15 minutes, hourly, sometimes a daily chart if we're going to get into some tough areas. But for today, I was looking at the 15 minute and the hourly chart mostly, um, some, similar to gold as well. Um, and then on my left, I have the tick chart. It's what I base my trades off of. So in um, oil today, we actually started the day down in this area. And I'll get into this trade eventually. But what I like to do is kind of go over how we got here and why I took that trade. Let's start from the beginning of today. So, and what's important to also note is that the week to date from Monday to now, we had a pretty strong uptrend. Um, we were hitting low to high 50s. We had some extensions taking us higher. And we actually got to a point where we had an extension. And I forget entirely where this was all from. It may have been, I don't think it was from that area. Now I forget a little bit of where we were coming from. But basically, we had a 50% extension down here in this area. And we also had a setup where I won't go into all the details for this particular setup because it is more proprietary and I like to kind of keep it for myself as of now. But if premium content does come out, I will include it in there. But basically, part of the reason why I like this area is because we kind of have this like tiny consolidation in here with these candles. And so if I extend this, you'll see we kind of get in this area. And then what I noticed is that you know we had this strong trend higher and we also coming off of um, these lows here we ran into this area right so we had this consolidation area like I just marked we ran higher and then when we came back down we pulled back into this level we also had a 50% um, extension and on top of that we broke this prior little swing high right so we're coming down um, building these lower highs and lower lows and we immediately snap that after hitting support so to me I like this area a lot and I did not get any futures trades here I got Nadex trades so I got a 5820 for 2 30 p.m. because the targets for this particular setup uh, they're not up because I actually draw this they were up in the 5880s or 90s um, $59 somewhere in there where the extension targets those were up near $59 and then we had just overall this strong trend so what I thought was the rest of the day will just continue higher now we get up here into the 50s and 60s I start to notice a chance at pulling back um, all the way back to the shadow box here and I thought to myself you know if we do that I'll just get a long trade again this was before any of this had happened so you know I was still looking at this area and just kind of thinking, you know, we might actually pull back all the way into this area again. I'll take my profits um, as we move back down here, about to take out this low. I was thinking, okay, I'll take my profits here, only 36%. It's not great. But if we come back down here, I'll go ahead and get more contracts. So that's what happened. I took my money off there. And then what I realized was, you know, we're starting to make highs. And like I say in my other videos, when we're at highs, I don't look to go any higher. I don't look for long trades. I like to look for short trades. I like to play that devil's advocate going for the opposite of what people think kind of. So, um, you know, we're moving higher and I'm just consistently looking for a setup to take me lower. And so we kind of get that snap and that reaction up here, right? We come into this area, um, consolidation for a little bit. We're going back and forth. And then finally we snap out of it. And, you know, we can even mark this low is an area of possible resistance because of the way we snapped out of this area. And um, so then when we draw this next high to low here, I'm no longer thinking about getting in 
down at these at these lows as I was before. I'm not doing that anymore because I saw the way we just consolidated and snapped lower. We had this um, longer run here of going higher, and then to me this didn't really seem right. And so as we move forward here, we can go ahead and draw our high to low, and boom, 58.50 is where I had my entry. And we actually got up to 48s and 49s and started to run a little bit lower. I was like, oh, if we don't hit my 50%, that'll be brutal. But we did hit the 50%. I got filled at 58.50. We moved up a little higher than what I would have liked to see. This was bothering me a little bit. So I, I had my stop up um, above these highs right here. And I was thinking, all right, we'll just we'll manage it how it goes. And so, you know, this also this level of um, possible resistance was also hit. So we have that. Now we really get this nice clean move lower, and as you see, four hundred dollars right here in profits for this account, four hundred on my account in top step, and then we also had the small amount in Nadex, and then after this, you can see that we would have this next high to low, hit our fifty, and we move even lower very fast. This retracement was actually very fast. I remember this happened almost immediately. Uh, I remember being filled for my target and then shooting right back up. Um, but still hit the 50, dropped really hard, and took out you know, our prior lows of the day were now taken out, and this became what, what started as almost a bullish day of moving higher. We had the extensions going to this longer-term chart. We had this low to high getting close to its targets, and we were thinking you know, maybe we're going to go ahead and um, hit our target. Now that I think about it, that extension, I believe, was actually from this right here. And as you see on this chart, to the tick, we hit 84s. Again, we had the shadow box. This is kind of backtracking here. But you see we have the shadow box. And I was thinking this could be a level of support. It was. Broke above this high. This is why I took that trade on Nadex. I thought we would stay you know, higher the rest of the day. Hit all of those targets. You know, This extension is 58.92. We didn't get there, though. And so I did not want to be a buyer once we came back down. I saw that potential run lower and it really ran lower. We took out the lows of the day, like I just said, making this from a bullish day to a bearish day and I'll get rid of this trail line as well. And you can see that we really um, ran down hard. Also retraced, was this an all the way high to low? It was, so 58.03 was then hit and then we're starting to trend lower as well. Um, you can see we started, you know, we broke above some prior highs here, and we did start to make a run higher, but we ran right into the high to low. And we also just took out this prior low over here, and so that would have caused this high to low 50% to move down, eventually moving down to its targets. Crude oil closes at 2.30 p.m., so about to close, but you can see that we're heading that direction. Um, again, on the hourly chart, sorry, 15-minute chart, you can see how we had this, uh, this whole setup going. Um, targets higher. We thought it would just be a higher day and then all of a sudden, nope. Big red candles lower and it's really cool to say, hey, this little green candle, that was me entering. This little, these little pullbacks right here. Um, so or that was rather, this these candles over here. But you see the, the highs of the day is where I shorted that and that was what allowed me to make um, good returns was being that, you know, notice how my Nadex contract Again, kind of backtracking. We were at lows of the day trying to go higher. Notice how for the futures contracts, I was at highs trying to go lower. So I'm I'm giving myself more room to run and less room for risk. That's very important because you want to be risk averse when you're trading. You don't want to lose too much money. It can blow up your account. So having little risk and big reward is definitely the way to go as I've shown you here. Now, so that's all that. That was the trade I took. Again, $400 on the day for this account, $400 on top step for the other one, and then 36% on oil Nadex. So those contracts were 5820s, as I mentioned. I cut them off, only 36%, not great. Then we get into gold. Gold, I had nothing on futures, although I took an Nadex trade. And so what we'll see in gold is um, actually on the longer term chart, more of a run lower, right? We had this high and then we just started ripping lower. Taking out these lows can be dangerous. I mentioned on Twitter the other night, you know, 1510 should be support. If we don't hold there, we could run down to the lower 1400s again. And we didn't hold it, right? We hit 1510s in this area. How to get run into the 30s. But, you know, 
um, bears are starting to take over here and we could see this run down to the lower 1400s. So going back to the day trading chart, kind of like that setup I showed you in oil, can't go into all the details about it, but you can see that we have kind of this consolidation area, right, in this, in this zone. And if we draw this shadow box over, you can see that as we break up higher, we end up pulling back into this area. And now what I saw here were targets were much higher. So again, little risk, big room to grow. We came into a support level and we took out some of these little uh, swing, these uh, lower highs that we had taken us lower. We took some of them out. And so I looked for the low to high setup. When we got down to 1500.8 in this area, I ended up getting a 15.03 on ADEX for 10 a.m. And it was an hour out. I thought it would take much longer for this to work, but we ended up sprinting higher pretty quick. And so that was 171%. I did not hold till expiration, although that would have worked fine. It would have been a full payout. I did get out early, 171% though, and I will take that um, anytime I can. So not bad there. On this chart, there would be this little guy down here. And you can see, even on the chart, we're at lows. There's little risk for me and there's more reward for me. That's how I like to take my trades. And then um, I actually was thinking about taking a short trade that would have worked as well, but I did not take it. And that was over here. You can see that we had some of the structure here of going higher and then taking out these swing lows, these higher lows that we had to make us go into higher highs. We took those out over here. And so this high to low is what I was looking at. I was thinking about doing a 1500 or a 1501 for the 1.30 p.m. expiration. And let's see, 129, we can get to a one minute chart just to see if uh, what those would have expired at. So 129, the close is 1499.2s. So 1500s and 1501s would have expired fully in the money. Also, I checked around 125, 126, 127, and you could have gotten rid of those contracts for 10 to $15. Well, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense if you didn't see the contract. Basically, you could have gotten out um, around that time and you would have been up plenty of money because you would have, um, when I was looking at this area to short, they were about uh, $30 risk. And so when they were down here around expiration, you could have gotten rid of them where you sold at 70 and they were at 15. So you could have made $55 on the 30 that you risked, which is very good. And uh, if you let it expire, then you would have gotten the, the full 70 on your 30. So either way, it worked out great. And we even moved down to our target, so I probably would have taken them off there. But um, I didn't. again, I did not take that trade. I took the other one that I just showed you with the shadow box going higher and the low to high coming out of that. We'll go back to our tick chart here. So we had the shadow box down here from that consolidation. And then we ended up taking just a nice low to high setup out of here. 1503 contracts when I got down to the 50, uh, they're about $25 risk. And then we moved up and as we started getting to these highs, that's when I um, unloaded and took some of them off. So that goes over the, uh, the trade I took in oil and the Nadex trades I took in oil and gold. And hopefully that helps give some insight to why I took some of these trades. Um, again, the, the big takeaway here should be small risk, big reward. So try to think in that mindset of when we're at highs, I want to look for a short setup. When we're at lows, I want to look for a long setup. And sometimes you get blown up and it doesn't work. But if you can find the right setup, notice how here I'm not forcing any short setups. They're not there. Once we get into this area and we take out this prior higher low and this you know whole area here, that's when we can look for a nice high to low setup. And then you could argue as well, what I was showing you before um, with that shadow box is, is kind of similar here, right? We have this consolidation area and then we move a little bit lower. I would like to see this move even more lower before draw or more low before drawing the shadow box, but you can see it still would work here. You get into that zone and then fall. And um, like I said, when I had this short trade, it was close to um, moving up higher. So I was just kind of, you know, managing it the way I should. And then we got this big run that was nice lower to my target. And that made me obviously much more comfortable um, seeing that and uh, a really nice way. So that was actually 
Um, let me see here. 49. So that was 10 minutes. 10 minutes, and we did $400, um, 800 total again. But that's only 10 minutes long. So it's not long at all to manage this. Um, so hopefully that video helps. If you have questions, comments, let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.